Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper, I'm here with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out New Gen Audio's new plugin, Sigmod. And we're gonna learn how to make any plugin a mid-side processing plugin. And you can do that quite easily using the Sigmod plug, so let's go ahead and first drop that on that. And while I'm doing that, I just wanna point out one caveat to this, and that is, you need a plugin that can process left and right differently to make it mid-side. For the plugins I'm gonna show you inside of this tutorial, this is kind of redundant because the plugins already have mid-side and left-right processing capabilities, but in something like Pro Tools and some of the other DAWs, left-right processing is baked into every plugin via the container. So this is very useful for those things and any other plugins you have that have left-right functionality but not that mid-side functionality. One other thing before we get going, and I apologize for stalling here, there is a way to do it inside of Ableton Live, for example, with some more advanced routing, and perhaps I'll make a future tutorial on that, but right now we're gonna stick to the straightforward version, which is very easy to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is come into the presets right here inside of Sigmod and choose Switch LR to MS, so left, right to mid side, close out, and you can see here we got left, right channels switching into mid and side. Now, alternatively, we can just come in and hit the plus button and choose mid side, come out and turn it on, and we've got the same deal. And the next thing I'm gonna do is drop the dynamic EQ in here, and this is Ozone 8 dynamic EQ because this has left-right processing baked in, right there, left-right. So now we need to drop one more instance of Sigmod onto the channel. So if I come in and type Sig, mod boom and now what we're going to want to do is come into the preset and go next mid side to left right close out and i can see that it's going to take the mid and the side and then convert them back to the standard left right channel now we can also do that by ourselves inside of here and what's going to happen is when you open it up it's going to be on left right by default you're going to want to come in right here and go mid side. So this is going to change which style of audio is being fed into the plugin. So we're leaving this one as mid side. We need to come into this one in mid side and leave it as left right. So what we need to do is go mid side, come out. Now we got mid side to left right. Perfect, okay? That's just something extra to know about. But now what we have is a mid side processor, even though we're on a left right right here. So if I play this audio, You see when I soloed that left, it's really a mono signal. That means we're listening to just the centered audio. So left is gonna be the centered audio or the mono signal, and right is going to be the audio that lives in the stereo field or the stereo width audio, okay? So now we can just change whatever we want to that. Maybe we want to boost that low end in the centered audio and on the outskirts there of the stereo field, maybe make a little boost as well. And that's it, that's how you get mid-side processing for any plugin you have inside of your DAW. Again, if you're in Ableton Live, it's gotta have that left-right capability. But if you're using something like Pro Tools, this is gonna be perfect for any one of your plugins. Anyway, that's a quick video on the mid-side module inside of New Gen Audio's new Sigmod utility plugin. I've done a couple other videos, so definitely go check those out if you're interested. Links in the video description, go check it out. I'm Joshua Casper for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Thank you.